Hello, my name is Dr. Andrew Lovett. I'm one of the surgeons at the Minnesota Reflux and Heartburn Center. And it's my pleasure to talk to you about the complications of gastroesophageal reflux disease. We know from discussions with our patients and practitioners that GERD can significantly affect our patient's quality of life. It often leads to poor quality of sleep, reduced work productivity, and dietary compromises to avoid symptoms. There's also concern for the lifetime consequences of GERD, including the long-term effects of GERD medications. Long-term complications from GERD can cause changes at the lower end of your esophagus. In this slide, you see images of severe erosive esophagitis or inflammation of the lower esophagus and strictures or scarring. This can lead to trouble swallowing over time. One of the most concerning findings we find with gastroesophageal reflux disease is the development of Barrett's esophagus. This is a precancerous lining that develops over time to combat the symptoms of gastroesophageal reflux disease. It's caused by chronic exposure to stomach contents. This will occur in up to 15% of people with gastroesophageal reflux disease, and unfortunately can often blunt the symptoms so, so that they think the reflux disease has gone away. This does lead to up to a 40% time risk of esophageal cancer is responsible for the 717% increase in esophageal cancer we've seen in recent studies. The key to managing Barrett's esophagus is to first identify it and then monitor it and hopefully eradicate it using techniques such as ablation or simply burning that portion of the liner away. We'd like to establish this before it turns to cancer. Esophageal cancer is the most dreaded outcome of gastroesophageal reflux disease. It's the sixth most common cause of de cancer death worldwide, and there's an estimated 20,000 new cases in the U.S. every year alone. We've seen a dramatic rise in this, in, in this cancer over the last 25 years, up to 717%. The reasons behind that are unclear. On this slide, you can see the epidemic of esophageal cancer. This graph portrays the epidemic over the course of the last 40 years. You can see that many cancers have been reasonably well controlled, and in fact, we've made some progress with most of them. Esophageal cancer, on the other hand, has had an exponential rise, almost 720% over the course of the last 40 years. Thankfully, you can see over the last decade, this is starting to level out. However, the mechanisms and causes behind this are still unclear. Thank you for listening. I hope you found this information valuable.